okay, so force, uh, is also you know, normally when we talk about force in our parameters, but what you are actually adjusting is the sensitivity. So the motor always trying to run, run as much as it can. Uh, the problem is that if there is any resistance, the motor will try to overcome that resistance and uh, it will try that until a certain threshold. That threshold is your parameter of force. So if you set up, by default normally we have 50%. It means that the gate will try to overcome any resistance up to 50% level and then it will stop and go back. Uh, so it's not really the force of the motor, it's how much more it can push against something in case there is something preventing the movement. Okay. So with the looks, with that adjustment, I have a lot of trouble adjusting that. If I was aluminium gates, I want to just put a nice slow stop, but it was too much. Yeah, it yeah. was too much, it can't be adjusted. Yeah, yeah, uh, we will see that in, uh, in the next, so I, I jump to that. So actually, for, for the final adjustment, what you need to do is this. Basically, you have the, the force during the closing or the opening, which is this one, this area. So in this area, you are still capable to detect a resistance, an obstacle, and go back, and bounce back. Uh, what you need to adjust in your case, when you are already on the stop, is uh, uh, the force uh, defined by parameter 60, uh, which can be higher or smaller than this one. Probably in your case you need to make it smaller. The trick is that by factory this is equal to zero, but zero is not zero. Zero means take the same value as this. So if this is 50% by factory default, which normally is the value we have. If I'm looking at 60, it's saying zero. It's actually 50. It's zero. No, it's actually 50. About one. Yeah. That's very sensitive. Exactly. So if you if you change from zero to one, in fact you are changing from fifty to one. Yeah. If if you left the factory default. Yeah. I've done a lot of that. Just can't get it right sometimes. Reset that reset that at one. And I'm sure we change fifty-nine as well. I can't remember where it is at Yeah, but fifty-nine is in the closing, this is in the opening. And then and there's like a staggers, then you go to twenty of your operation, there's two cents a week later you go there and does it want to start slowing down or just stop? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's also a combination of, uh, you know, slow down speed, mm -hmm. uh, the force you set there. Uh, I mean, they are all a little bit uh, related, those parameters. 59, uh, 59 is, uh, is always counted backwards, so from the close point, it counts backwards, and that is the space within which you use this force. So basically, it's a space within which you can stop uh, so the adjust the onto, size. exactly. Yeah. If there is a resistance, yeah. you will stop and not, and not bounce back. So normally, uh, if you set this in the wrong way, uh, you can have two results. Yeah. If this is too big, yeah. and the force within this is too low, you may have maybe a wind effect and the gate won't close completely. It will stay open. Normally, I mean, we touch this in Europe because by default it is uh, 25, I believe, which is quite a lot. I mean, on a 3 meter uh, lift, it will probably correspond to something like that in the closing, which is far too high for Europe. Because in Europe, normally you want to be safe until the last 50 millimeters, 5 centimeters. So normally we are always going to reduce this. But for the standard installation, we want to be sure you won't have any problems, so normally the value is big enough. About around a half a meter, I would say. Uh, in the issues, I bring it down, so it starts slowing down, then needs to stop. Yeah. I find that way it will live, then it slows down, then it doesn't slow down the end. Yeah. That's where it is in the shits. Yeah. Like slow down to hit the I mean, if you have very strong wind effect or uh, a lock to engage, normally in those cases, uh, what you do is maybe you have 50 here and you want to put this to 60 or 70 or 80. That was a lot, I mean, yeah. If the gate is still, yeah, you have to mix a little bit the uh, two things. So the slowdown speed also has an effect on that parameter sensitivity. Yeah. Yeah. So the slowdown speed also has an effect on that parameter sensitivity as well. Isn't it? So if you've got parameter sixty set at one percent, yeah, we got the move, and you still need a more sensitive again. The only way we've been able to achieve that is maybe drop the slowdown speed from forty percent to one percent. Exactly, because especially with the DC motor, the slower you go, the less force you have, in fact, on the motor. It's, very, it's very complicated. Yeah, they're uh, very the intertwined, you know, the, the parameters. They all have a secondary effect. Everything is sort of doing that. 
I mean, they don't just like that clear though. Come on, man. They got on the <laughs> I've ran a few times. Yeah. Are you how I see it there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because book, if, book, very, very yeah, good. because you know, the book gives you really the yeah. technical stuff, how it works, uh, key pulses, uh, encoder, not encoder. Uh, don't read that. Else, you know, as long as you understand, understand this, you're good. Yeah, yeah. 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 Don't even want to rely on someone else. Like, oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. A lot of them interact with each other, and that's why I try to explain to people as well that when you're saying it's not just 35, that's not just speed. You know, 35, 36 at the duration, and these two affecting everything together. And so, like, more, normally I've encountered more problems with the other way. Instead of having it too sensitive, it's not sensitive enough. And it's like it gets out there and sort of just like because of the DC nature, it just goes, ugh. Ours is always not sensitive. And it gets the other way. People are going, it never quite opens all the way. It just sort of stops and dies. And then when you get, so we've had to do this exactly what we were saying before about pumping it up to get it to go to the fully open position. Closing, usually not so much an issue, but that would be the other way around for your locks. And that sort of thing. Yeah, locks, yeah. 